Too sweet is here at your door. Yeah, how you doing today? Yep, today is Sunday, I believe the 6th. I need to double check. I don't have a calendar in front of me, but yeah, so what are you doing for your holiday? Huh? Labor Day? Yes, what you doing? Guys, I am so stopped up my sinuses been giving me the blues for the last four months or maybe longer i've been taking a uh, Sudafed and it just my ears are starting to pop uh, since i moved i haven't uh, found me no um primary care physician yeah I've been slow on that and because the reason why I've been slow on that because I don't want to do no virtual visit okay because I know they will have to look up my nose they will have to look in my ears I don't want to do no virtual visit because of this so called COVID y'all they can go do something else with that too but yeah, but anyway, I don't want to sing all blah, blah, blah. Um, I just get on here. I'm trying to test the lighting with this ring light. Um, I believe it said it was supposed to be a 10 inch, but this thing is small, y'all. I put my measuring tape back up. Um, but anyway, I got my patio door here and it's giving a lot of natural light but when I turn it off I get it's dark on this side you see it's more I'm trying to find the balance of my lighting yep have not been doing too much um I was I was gonna go out today to um I still may go out to Walmart the Joanne fabric. Um, I want to get a piece of fabric to match this blue in my bedspread, and then I'm a. I got my gray sheets on here because this have. Well, it looked like it have a little gray in it, but that's more of a tan. But I'm gonna switch this up. Uh, I'm a, it's already been washed. I wash this thing like every other day, y'all. And it's still holding true to its color. I bought this thing from a place called uh, Fellas. I think it was only like $10. And y'all, it is velvety. <laughs> velvety soft. Velvety soft. And um, I did go back and buy another one. But I bought that for my son. I bought a brown one. Because, you know, me and don't care nothing about colors. But, uh, y'all, I'm thinking about going back and get me another one. This is so freaking soft. And, um, yeah, it's like, like, uh, a real soft microfiber. Yeah, it's a large throw in the, uh, I think this one is the king. I think this is the king because I felt like the queen may be too small because my bed sits up so high. As you see, um, this is the mattress. And the mattress is supposed to be below this uh, foot board. Yeah, the mattress is supposed to be below this foot board. So... You can see how high it is, and I do have a, uh oh, I do have a step ladder. I have to climb up in the bed, that little white thing right there. But anyway, yeah, I was gonna go to Joanne Fabric to see if I can find some fabric uh, to match this because I put a bench in my bedroom. And y'all, I was getting ready to go to the furniture store 
and buy me, I believe they call settees. You know, one of them little cute little uh, benches with the tucked it um, eyelet uh, design in it. And I seen one at our local furniture store here, and it was like, with the taxes, it would have been like $300. And y'all, I was like this close buying it, but something in me would not let me purchase that. And I've been online. Uh, I do look at Wayfair, but I don't buy from Wayfair. Because I purchased a patio set from Wayfair to give to my son for the uh, housewarming gift. Almost $400. Oh my God, look at that huge dragonfly. Sorry, I got distracted. Why is he sucking on my light bulb out there? He's just hanging there. Okay, but well anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was so easily distracted. Yeah, he's like about his wingspan like this, y'all. I'm glad I wasn't sitting out there. And I'm sorry I can't show them to you because I have to take all this stuff down. Oh, my God. Okay. And his wings are very transparent. But anyway, 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 anyway. Okay. What was I saying, y'all? What was I saying? Oh, with the, uh, with the bitch I wanted to buy. Okay, I don't buy enough for Wayfair because I purchased that patio set and I'm telling you the stuff look good online. But I'm going to tell you Wayfair beware. You can purchase what you want to buy off of there and it may do you just good. But when I purchased that patio set baby I made the phone call. And honey, a girl that was on the other end, she didn't like to hear what I had to say. Yeah. And if they was if they had a Wayfair warehouse where I was at, I would have took that patio set and throwed it. Yeah, I know I might have been going to jail. I didn't care. Throwed it back at them. Okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I told my son... Since he got little ones running around the house, keep it for the little ones. They can have a little corner out on the patio. Y'all, that furniture was so freaking small. It was just big enough for my, uh, she was two years old at the time, for my granddaughter. Wayfair, really? And then my daughter-in-law, she purchased a, um... A rustic look uh, dining room table with the uh, with the wingback chairs. The table was cracked. All the chairs was cracked. The wood portions on the chairs was cracked. Okay, they had to like uh, get wood glue, glue stuff back. Now she spent like about fifteen hundred dollars for this dining room table. And I understand that stuff can get, you know, damaged in shipping and stuff, you know, but this was too much damage, okay? Uh, some of the fabric wasn't uh, uh, tacked to the chairs, and I'm like, uh-uh. She called, and, um, yeah. And fortunately, they did give her her money back. They didn't give my money back. I don't know why they... I'm like, they, they gave her back her money. Um, I told her what all she could do with the table and with the chairs to try to make them, you know, suitable. Because when you get large items like that in your home, um, where they live at, you have to basically call for a dumpster. And you have to pay for that. Pay for them to bring it in. You got to pay for them to take it out. Okay. And then um, you don't want to be hauling that stuff over to the Goodwill. Because, yeah, somebody buy it, they can fix it. And somebody sit on it, they can fall and get injured. 
Okay. So in the same at the same time of dealing with all of that, she did purchase uh two large wingback chairs. And see I I seen two wingback chairs on there that I wanted. But uh, when I looked at the reviews and looked at the people, they, they, they had taken pictures of the chair. And they were saying, these chairs are tiny. They're tiny. They're supposed to be in recliners. Um, they were small. I mean, the pictures, I'm like, come on now. One lady, she took a picture of the chair sitting right next to her bed. And the chair was below her mattress. You know, like them kids um, reclining chairs that they came out with. They had all different kind of colors for the kids at one time for like two and three year old kids. And them chairs was going for 300 and some odd dollars, y'all. Yes. Beware. Wayfair, beware. Okay, but like I said, she did order uh, her two large, supposed to be large wingback chairs. They came the right size, but they was also damaged. Okay, so I don't know, um, I don't know who delivered them because I wasn't there when they got delivered, but I was there for the, uh, the unboxing and putting stuff together. You have to put them together. Yes, when you order reclining chairs, you have to put them together. And the, uh, hardware uh, was not there. Uh, my son had to go to uh, Home Depot to order the hard, to get some hardware to put it together, and it was just too frustrating, too frustrating, and stuff like that. You 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 do you feel like taking that stuff and you feel like throwing it back in somebody's face, yeah, because you spent your hard-earned money, and you know that's you might be saying as being mean, but I think it's mean when somebody sell you something. And they know, they know the condition of it. They know the size of it. And they know you ain't going to be satisfied with it. That's just like going into McDonald's and order you a, a, a Coke. And um, you, you go through the drive through you get your Coke. And now you got your, your drink and you done pulled off and you on your way wherever. And you start sipping on it and come to find out it's flat. Like, Really? And then you're like, should I turn back around or should I just throw it out the window? <laughs> you're going to throw it out the window. Because most people ain't going to turn back around. Unless you're not too far away. Okay? But anyway, I ain't trying to be mean today because why? This is Happy Sunday. Yep, and we got Labor Day. Uh, Labor Day is tomorrow. Is you guys barbecuing? Fixing that potato salad, them baked beans. That's my signature meal, honey. Yeah, for any holiday. Barbecue, uh, a potato salad, and baked beans, honey. You got to have that. And if you can, you can have a little bit of cornbread and some greens, girl. Mm. Yes, that's my signature holiday meal. My son be saying, Mama, can you just switch up sometime? He said, can you just switch up sometime? Can we have coleslaw instead of potato salad? I don't know why, but hey, that's what my mom used to fix. And y'all, that joke is still, what happened? He done lost his tail. Oh, someone came along and snapped his tail off, y'all. Oh, wow. He just hanging there. The birds gonna get him. But anyway, distracted again. Yep, so I just wanted to come on here and um I'm playing with this ring light, y'all. This thing is blinding. I've been um I've been decided for a long time to get a ring light and my son I'm like, Mama, quit playing, this gonna get you a ring light. And now that I got it, I'm like, y'all, I got to figure out where I'm going to set it if I can get even, even light. Okay, so, I mean, I got some windows over my TV, 
I can open, but <sighs> it's just a work in progress. Y'all, it's got to be hot outside. Well, I know it's hot outside, but these little fairing birds, when they fly in, they just sit and they open up their mouth real wide. I guess let the, the breeze cool their tongue off. And um, I put some water out there, but I put it in a little bitty cup, and they ain't even touch it. My sister told me I had to have a, a bird bath, something where they can land on. Cause I'm like, I feel bad for them because they just, it's a fence like right here in front of my patio and they just, it look like they just be out of their mind. I guess they be heat stroke. But anyway, y'all, I can get the rabbit chasing and get distracted, y'all, and mine be everywhere. But yeah, but I'm in the process, y'all, of trying to make I want the decor in my room to match. So um, the bench that I was going to buy, that I was looking for, that I was deciding to get, I didn't get it because I always had a bench. My husband built, my husband built a bench before we separated, and I kept it. Nice solid wood bench. I had it in our mud room in the house. That what we'll park ourselves on take our shoes off, put our shoes on. And so uh I'm like I'm not getting rid of it because it's it's solid wood. Okay. And so when I moved, I took it and I put it on the patio. Okay, or the balcony, whatever you want to call it. It's been out there for about five months. We never sat on it. I went and purchased uh two patio, two nice heavy duty patio chairs where these is not going to be in they ain't going to break because my son he's a big man and so I'm like I need something and y'all with this uh, stay at home thing sister been gaining weight this dress I got on oh my god when I bought this dress y'all it was hanging off of me now it is I mean I'm, I done filled it in in every corner I done filled it in and I'm like, I had some apple pie out there in the kitchen. I throwed it away. I'm like, we can't do no more apple pie. We can't do no more ice cream. No, we can't do that because I'm filling in my clothes, y'all. Clothes, I mean, come on now. Oh, can't you tell? Yep, I see it in my feet. My shoes. I don't wear no size 10. Oh, see, there I go rabbit chasing again. Come on, come on, Sparkle. Come on back. <laughs> come on back. Let's get back to this bitch. I'm sorry, y'all. That's what happens when you at home all the time and you don't have no uh, social interaction. You just be all over the place. Okay? But anyway, did my nails, jacked them up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did my nails, jacked them up. Okay. But anyway, had a bench all the time, y'all. I went out there yesterday, looked at it, make sure ain't no critters to move in. I bleached it down, y'all. I poured all kind of water on it, got the broom scrubbed, it got the scrub brush scrubbed it. <sighs> if something living in there, honey. They must have been holding their breath for a long time while that bleach was all over them. Because, honey, I put bleach on this joker. And when it dried, I moved it in my room. And down here in Arizona, you're going to run into some critters. And whether you want to or not, you're going to run into some critters. That's why you got to keep your shoes on. And right now I'm sitting here barefooted. Let me get my shoes on. my house shoes because honey if you got to stump something you want to be ready but yeah i put it in my uh bedroom 
and um, I looked through stuff, some of the things I had. I was getting ready to go to Joanne Fabric. That's why my purse is on the bed. And I was going to go buy some fabric because I had this, uh, uh oh, I had this bed pillow that went across the bed. Never laid on, just used to prop up my pillows. Put it on the bench. Had this uh, extra fabric that I've been holding on to forever. And to my surprise, it's the same color as my blue on the bed. Mm -hmm, same color. So I just wrapped the bed pillow, because the bed pillow is the full length of the bench. And covered it up. And put the pillows on there. Had some old pillows. I know you want to see it, but wait till I finish. Wait till I finish with my room. Yep, trying to get it together because I do have some company coming in about nine days. Got some company coming. I'm happy about that. Real stoked, girl. Real stoked. Happy about that. And so, um, yeah, I just want to get my place together and uh, enjoy my guests. Okay. And then also, I just want to give you guys a update because I haven't been on here since I did that uh, makeup tutorial. We'll try to get some things together. Got to figure out that GoPro because you don't want to spend almost $400 for a camera and you can't use it. Yep, got to figure out the app. And uh, I guess, you know, since I'm not going to the store, I don't have to spend no coins today because I thought I was going to go spend some money. On some fabric, make me some pillows. Ain't gotta do that. I went shopping in my storage closet, y'all. Mm hmm. That's what I did. Went shopping in my storage closet because I knew I had something in there. Yep. So, hey, it's gonna be what it is, okay? Because I'm not into all of the real pretty bed pillows and stuff like that. You know, I can have my. My pillows covered with my, my uh, pillow shams and maybe two accent pillows. But like having six and seven, ten decorated pillows on the bed, I ain't into all that because hey, at the end of the day when I get ready to go to bed, where them pillows going? Okay. Then I would have to put a chest right here at the foot of my bed. And y'all, uh, my walk space is getting kind of narrow up in here because... My son said I'm a hoarder, but I don't think so. But I got a lot of stuff in my room, okay? But I would have to get a chest because I cannot stand for my pillows, my covers, my sheets to touch the floor. For some reason, I feel like that, you know, you're walking on your floors every day. You put your, put your bed, people throw their bed covers on the floor. I can't do that. And then you throw them and put them on the bed. I can't do that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And my mind, my mind won't let me do that. Because I start itching. My skin start flaring up. Uh-uh. If my stuff touch the floor, even when, I, when I'm folding my sheets and stuff, y'all, I have to come in here and fold my sheets on the bed. I don't want my sheets to touch the floor after I wash them. Oh, he done moved to another light. Okay. I can't I can't do that. I don't want to throw my pillows on the floor when I'm getting ready to go to bed. Uh-uh. I watch women on YouTube. They have their covers and stuff. I can't do it. I can't do it. So that's why I choose not to buy all them decorated pillows. Because I don't want to end them up on the floor. Okay. So, okay, y'all. We're going to close out this video. And I want you to go... And then continue to enjoy your Sunday. Prepare for your holiday. Oh, wow. Look at him. What is up with this light? I guess he's resting because it's hot outside, too. Go enjoy your holiday. And I'll see you another in another video soon. Okay? And um, we'll talk to you later. All right. Enjoy.